Good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session. Dr. Soni, Amrit, Shravani, Monika, and many more across the country. Can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear, everybody? Shravani, don't worry, it is absolutely live that I am going to test you how good you are all kids studying for the NEET PG. Right? In the live, real time. Yes. Uh, Nilesh, Akiridi, Komali, very good, Komali from Vishakapatnam and uh, Priyanka and many more. Yes. I am also missing you last few days but uh, I am very sure Dr. Uh, Gautam Chakravarti is uh, a very vibrant teacher. Once upon a time, like you, he was our student and uh, he is a topper in entrance exam and he did MS General Surgery and MCH Cardiothoracic Surgery. So, uh, I wish you all enjoyed the class with him, right? Yeah. So, uh, next three days he has a lineup of uh, cardiac surgeries uh, lined up. So, he could not get time, otherwise, he is supposed to deliver. So, very good. So, let us make the great beginning. Today, we will start with the quiz because my regular class PowerPoint is getting ready. Yeah. So, please punch your answers, doctor. Unfreeze your fingers. Yes. Uh, yes. In hemochromatosis, all are affected except what? What do you get in hemochromatosis? 3, not 1. Please punch your answer, doctor. First half an hour, we will have a review of uh, the questions quiz. After that, we will go to the uh, discussion. Very good. Hippocampus is not. But bronch pancreas, hyperpigmentation, restrictive cardiomyopathy, these are all the features. Very good. Madhushri Manya, you have to be very careful. This is a very easy question. You answered it wrong means you need to be doubly careful. What is the most common chronic viral illness out of all these hepatitis group of infections is a very, very important question. 3 not 2. Yes. Ravi is proposing hepatitis C, Kulkarni also. And uh, um, I can see Nagarajan proposing hepatitis B. Very good. So, it is a hepatitis C, the most common chronic viral illness out of all this is what you need to remember. Vijay Bhaskar is asking to upload surgery classes. Alim, you have to upload it into the app. You medico, please don't uh, miss that. Today class is over means by tomorrow the videos and notes must be there in the app. That is the deal with the students. Huh? No problem, our guys are going to do that into the UMedico app. Don't worry. So C for chronic, very good. Akash Rai gives a very good clue. Pamar erythema that you see in the liver failure is because of what? In case of cirrhosis of liver, why do you get the palmar erythema? 303. I hope you are all enjoying the full notes, bookmarks, all the features in your medical app. I hope so. And uh, you can even sort the uh, slides. According to most viewed slides, most bookmarked slides, etc., etc. Please use all the features. You can record your voice also for a particular slide. You can type a comment for a particular slide and that become available to everybody. So it is like a Smule app. You know the Smule app? Smule is uh, karaoke will be there. You can sing one stanza, another guy sings uh, another stanza and ultimately your song become ready. Right? Smule, S M U L E, like a Smule app. Okay? So, please uh, make use of uh, these uh, 
you may go a voice recording feature for you to remember right s m u l e smule is a music recording uh, similar to our u medico app wherein for every slide you can record the voice i can see deena karan everyone is saying d absolutely right a man has presented with fever chills jaundice the classical clinical triad what is this triad of it is a clinical triad of what so ravi is proposing oh ravi you can't go so wrong it's a classical clinical triad if you answer this wrong i'll be very unhappy only ritu raj jindabad ritu raj absolutely right so you should remember acute cholangitis ka clinical triad of the charkad doctor come on please don't uh, say that you have done this wrong right now fulminant liver disease aap kab kitne duration mein agar encephalopathy coagulopathy develop ho gaye to isko fulminant liver disease kehte hain shoot your answer doctor question number 305 ravi is proposing c uh kulkarni thinks 3 uh, weeks uh Tunu Bhatia is thinking it is four weeks. Sudha Shukla thinks four weeks. It is who correctly answered, doctor? Who is the king of need PG? Oh, most of you are seduced by the opportunity of either B or C. Except Vipul Chaudhary, Priyanka Singh, Roger, they are all proposing eight weeks. most common cause for the fulminant hepatitis uh most common cause of fulminant hepatitis in pregnancy kya hota hai easy question 306 should you run it okay 306 very good i can see hepatitis e very good most of you are rocking it best marker for the mother to child transfer of the hepatitis b kya hota hai how do you say that a mother is highly infective for her child uh 307 yes ravi kumar thinks igm whereas virat is proposing hbv dna is a better marker kulkarni bol raha hai envelope antigen ravi jindabad even sudha shukla correctly answered it is igm anti hbcag is the best marker of the fetal maternal transmission of the hepatitis b is what you need to remember where is pyranolactone most useful in which uh, situation is my question to all of you just go 3 no 308 oh, should you answer Ravi is thinking the renal artery stenosis. Aparna proposes cirrhotic ascites. Cirrhotic ascites and uh, uh, no no IgM cannot cross placenta true, but a high levels of IgM is an important indicator that. Uh, uh the uh mother has got a recent infection and there is a greater chance of infectivity now i can see and before envelope antigen even igm is much earlier so nitesh kulkarni everybody is saying chronic ascites cirrhotic ascites absolutely right raised intra abdominal pressure more than how much do you like to call it as uh, abdominal compartment syndrome is my question to all of you 309 what is your answer doctor ravi is betting on more than 30 roger thinks more than 12 this is one question if you know it you know it if you don't know it you are clean balls right 
that's right i can see most of you proposing more than 20 please don't forget if you have done this question wrong bookmark and set a reminder for this kind of questions in the you medico app notes that will keep on sending you reminders so guys please tell me if you set up reminder in you medico are you getting the notifications of the reminders and if you are clicking on the reminder notifications is it taking you to that appropriate slide please give me a feedback those who are using the you medico app yes uh, that's right so 310 trans esophageal echo very good i can see yes sir every 15 minutes it keep sending you one reminder of the point that you have set up a notification right so it will be like a nagging boyfriend or a nagging girlfriend it will keep on reminding you in the you medical app bolo more than 20 more than 20 yaad hai ya nahi that's very important right yes the dream species is asking sir it is asking a subscription fee of 30000 rupees don't worry you can call our helpline and our helpline will help you to get a better pricing um, of the you medical app subscription money is never a problem so you should remember trans thoracic ego evaluation of the left atria and left atrial appendage may thrombus it can better be identified by a trans esophageal because between right atrium and left atrium which is more uh, posterior doctor please always remember right sided chambers are anterior left sided chambers are posterior esophagus be posterior reta heart ke piche reta so agar esophagus pe probe chalai to o left atrium ko quickly agar small thrombus hai to pakad lega so that is what you have to remember now doc um there is a oh i think the picture is missing doctor in this question uh actually it is enteric fever ka uh temperature chart was there sorry that picture was missing in this now where do you see le cells easy question le cells 312 yes Without picture only, Snowbar Vani and Ravi are answering it as enteric fever. Badia, badia. That should be the speed of your uh, answering. That's good. I can see Ritu Raj, Tibia, everyone is saying SLE. Absolutely. Vaginus granulomatosis may. What is that serological marker which is classically seen in vaginus granulomatosis? Is my question to all of you. Yes, doctor. Should be your answer. 313. Yeah. Very happy to see 149 online students. Madhusri Manya. Very good. Is our new classmate nowadays. Madhusri, you are from which uh, part of the country? Are you from Karnataka or from there? Uh, yes, uh, I can see Surya Prabha thinking it as Piyanka, but you can't do mistakes in this kind of questions. Very good, Madhushri is from Mangalore, a beautiful place where you can enjoy a very good honeymoon in Bekal. Hmm? Very good. So it is Siyanka. Now antibody of good pasture. Uh, where do you find question number 314? Should you answer, doctor? Uh, yes, 314. Ravi is even in panic, also, he is answering correctly. That means he is uh, ready for the picnic of uh, need PG exam. Excellent, anti GBM. Now, multiple painful ulcers on the tongue. What is that condition? which is not an infective condition actually, which is a vasculitic condition where you get multiple ulcers of the tongue. Uh, 
Question number 315. Ashima is proposing besets. Ravi thinks sarcadosis. Come on, Ravi, please don't say that. So, Monica is saying sarcadosis. How come Ravi and Monica lost the. Uh, are totally attracted by option B, even Ranjit? Don't do this kind of. Oh, does not. Uh, okay, okay. Does not cause is sarcadosis. Exactly. What causes is besets and herpes. Absolutely. Yeah. Upain, commandant, you should all review the vasculitis in New Medico. Besset syndrome, you should always basically remember. What is wrong about the Dukin's muscular dystrophy? 316. What is the wrong statement about it? 150 online students from Bahut Kushoge. 316, yes. I can see most of you are saying uh, uh, 316. Aparna thinks female is symptomatic is wrong. Right, absolutely right. So, death occurs because of pneumonia. In fact, most of the uh, most of the muscular dystrophies there is a ventilatory defect, restrictive lung disorder due to the extra thoracic uh, ventilatory defect. And pneumonia is the one that succumbs most of the muscular dystrophies. So, where do you see Gover sign? Easy question. Question number 317. Yes. Uh, yes, 317. Duquesne's muscular dystrophy. Absolutely. Ye batao yaar, agar iska answer wrong kare to, you medico mein free coaching de denge aapko. 318. Rheumatoid arthritis mein nahi involve hone wala joint kya hai? Which characteristically is involved in osteoarthritis? Should your answer doctor? 318. Nagarajan, you can't do such mistakes. Shravani, no. Ilyas, very good. Sudha, very good. And uh, Soham Sinha, wild Gesmara. So, dip doctor, dip is not involved in rheumatoid arthritis. Dip is involved in osteoarthritis, psoriatic arthritis. Not involved in rheumatoid arthritis. That is what you need to remember. About vagina. What is the correct statement is my question to all of you. Vagina. Yes. Question number 319. Yes. Rheumatoid arthritis does not dip. Ravi proposes A. Most of you are doing that. Excellent, excellent doctor. Remember, NEET PG 2019 may, 300 may, 215 questions, I saw biscuit questions he rate. Usme, tension ke vina aap answer karna. That is very important. Okay, doctor. So that's right. Vaginar may, uh, both the lung and the kidney is involved. Patient will have hematuria because of the renal involvement. Patient will have hemoptysis because of a cavitary lung lesion in vaginal. So, if kisi ko hemoptysis bhi ho gaya or uh, hematuria bhi ho gaya, generally is desh mein hum kya sochte? We will think there is a miliary TB. But, because miliary TB also can involve uh, lung, it can lead to renal TB dissemination. And that also can lead to development of hematuria. So commonly, vaginal ka differential diagnosis in India hota hai TB. Lot of times patients get treated like a TB. But later on you will realize that it is not TB. Ritu is asking, sir, surgery class next time kab hoga? Ho jayega. Tuesday. Tuesday se, fir Gautam sir, surgery is pura katam karke aayega. Or you medical app me 
pura gautam chakravarti circus surgery classes are all available right in the video library you can enjoy reviewing dnb aims pgi jipmer previous 15 years question paper discussions that we have done where gautam was teaching in surgery please review them huh? so he is also very happy he said that uh, i really enjoyed uh, a large mass of 250 students bahut din ho gaya itna large number of uh, students ke sath uh, kaam karke right so as teacher always uh, we enjoy a large communion of students aur maza aayega jab you are answering differently and we are helping you to correct and uh, inspire you to prepare this is a wonderful evening yes uh, now image of the chest x ray is being shown right uh, yes so sir sometimes feeling very nervous as if not studied anything see doctor एक बात आप याद रखना 19 सब्जेक्ट्स आप कितना यज्ञ करें तो भी परफेक्शन नहीं आता इट इज एवरी स्टूडेंट कॉमन फीलिंग लाइक ए सर्वेकल स्पॉन्डलोसिस पेन के जैसे एक स्लाइट पेन गिल्ट फीलिंग चलते रहता कि ओ आई डिड नॉट रीड वेल आई डिड नॉट रीड वेल डोंट वरी द पॉइंट इज बी प्लेफुल ऑटोमेटिकली आप 650 टॉपिक्स रिवीजन करके 30,000 एमसीक्यूज का डिस्कशन पार्टिसिपेट करें तो कोई भी आपको रुकेगा नहीं आपका नंबर आएगा तो डोंट वरी गो टू द एग्जाम जस्ट लाइक एनी अदर इवनिंग दैट यू आर स्पेंडिंग विद अस ओके डॉक सो एंड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर एंजाइटी टेंशन जो होता है ना एग्जाम के पहले देर शुड बिकम ए ड्राइविंग फोर्स फॉर यू टू ग्लू टू द मिशन एंड कंप्लीट that's very important even tomorrow as a consultant early morning you have to do a surgery but the evening there is a party so what will you do early morning ke surgery ke wajah se party mein peena sharab peena band karte late partying band karte next day morning surgery attend karne ke rush mein so as a doctor our life is supposed to be living in anticipation for tomorrow so exam is also one such thing so just take it playfully as such J january 6th morning you are operating on a case that is the spirit at which you should go simple right so it is a right pleural effusion with a trachea getting shifted towards the left He is what you need to remember that's right commandant rightly says preparation is the best time to live that's very important now female patient bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy as levels are elevated ya sab bolne ke baad bhi agar aap answer nahi kare to examiner will be disappointed right classical case of very good ravi rightly says kulkarni also that we sarcoid oxus mesothelioma most commonly is caused by what is most commonly caused by what please check whether the powerpoint has come right is most commonly caused by asbestosis is what you need to remember absolutely right absolutely right doctor partial pressure of the oxygen alveoli may kitna rehta oxygen partial pressure a very important question 323 yes 323 you have to load the ppt yeah sonam sinha everyone is saying 60 versus 103 103 is right alex say jindabad and uh, sweety patil also absolutely right dekho aise chote chote questions mein clean bowl nakko hona you should not be lost maintenance of severe persistent asthma mein maintenance ke liye 
कौन सा दवा देते हैं आप क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर शुड यूर आंसर डॉक्टर रवि प्रपोजेस लाबा लॉन्ग एक्टिंग बीटा टू एगोनिस्ट लाबा क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर यस थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर वेरी गुड एवरीबडी सेंग डी एक्सेंट मितेश इज प्रपोजिंग स्टीरोइड इट इज ए लाबा व्हिच इज बीइंग गिवन फॉर मेंटेनेंस लाइक साल्बिटामॉल जो होता है ना वो शॉर्ट एक्टिंग है साल्मेटरॉल होते हैं लॉन्ग एक्टिंग बीटा एगोनिस्टिक ड्रग दैट इज व्हाट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर अगर इसका रॉन्ग करे तो यू मेडिको में जाके फार्माकोलॉजी में आस्थमा ड्रग्स रहता डॉक्टर शैलेंद्र टॉट द फार्माकोलॉजी यू हैव वंडरफुल वीडियोस प्लीज रिव्यू देम ओके डॉक्टर नाउ ऑक्सीजन इज नॉट गिवन इन व्हिच सिचुएशन out of all this yes uh that's right omaluzumab is another important drug you need to remember all monoclonal antibodies pakka rena right aapko bahut notes or slides are available uh 150 full scale grants nearly 45000 questions and the slides of discussion they are all getting uploaded into the u medico app including the videos of this full scale grants that we discussed so take a chance to revise as many questions as possible as you keep getting the time and jo bhi aap bhul bhul jayenge bol ke soche to us slide ko bookmark karo very simple right so u medico is going to be your companion to the exam hall and uh, will be with you until you get the seat excellent so i get answer as pleural effusion mein kyon dete hai mere bhai pneumonia mein dete hai copd mein dete hai asthma mein dena padta hai effusion mein usko nikalna isko fluid ko nikalna then only you will improve the patient chronic smoking mein what type of emphysema we get is a very important question chronic smoking Yes. Three hundred and twenty-six. Excellent. Three hundred and twenty-six. So, Sentry uh, Sinar Empathy, my doctor. Please don't do easy question. Single liner ko, Vargis. I don't want you to do such mistakes in the tomorrow's exam. No. which will not cause polyuria polyuria is an important question um alim can you paste that uh, pre medico channel ka link uh in the uh, chat yeah so 327 uh 327 excellent so adh insufficiency hypokalemia interstitial nephritis in sub cheese on me the concentrating ability of the uh, urine is gone due to tubular dysfunction that lead to the development of polyuria is what you need to remember shri lata pradhan snehalata pradhan very good excellent doctor now hematuria hypertension and edema these are all the features the combination where do you see is a very important question 328 why in hypokalemia very good question hypokalemia is a dyslipidemia will make the uh, changes in the interstitial osmolarity and uh, that makes the urine to be i mean the water to be not reabsorbed by the tubule and because water reabsorption is all dependent upon the interstitial osmolarity interstitial osmolarity in turn is dependent upon the concentration of the ions so uh, positive ions that's reason yeah so i can see most of you are saying glomerulonephritis 
absolutely right. Can you please face that? Uh, have you? No. Ah, yes, yes. So, dear all, uh, your brothers, sisters, a uh, lot of cousins, they will all be preparing for the uh, MBBS entrance exam. I just request you to go through this channel which I have given. We are we have come up with uh, a mobile app called Pre Medico, just like you Medico, for uh, a live broadcasted lectures for the MBBS entrance preparation, physics, chemistry, and biology. And uh, I would be grateful if you can be able to yourself also subscribe so that at least 100 subscribers we can be able to name the channel. So just go to the uh, YouTube channel of the Pre Medico, and uh, there we have uh, every day six hours of live broadcast of uh, the physics, chemistry, and biology uh, by some of the wonderful teachers. And uh, I, after the session is over, go to that channel which I pasted and then just uh, click on the subscribe button with the notifications and also tell your cousins. And uh, we love to bring another revolution in uh, neat UG preparation also. Uh, that's, that's, that's a whole idea. Okay. So some of the chapters in physics, biology, I am enjoying teaching the young uh, kids. Uh, uh, always they were the interesting subjects. Yes. Now, thank you very much, MedQuest. It's not a command, but definitely a aapse uh, anurodh hai. Right? So, type of glomerulopathy in HIV positive patient. Agar YouTube channel mein more than 100 subscribers aage hai, we can put a name to the channel. That's why I wanted you to just click uh, subscription. Uh, to the channel. So, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis is a type of glomerulopathy in HIV patient. Then, last question before we go to the regular class. Uh, thank you, MedQuest, for uh, clicking on the subscription button of that. Yes. Uh, hemodialysis. Uh -huh. Uh, yes, Hindi is becoming better every day with uh, Monica's around me. So, hemodialysis for long period from the same site, uh, because for that what you need to do, 330. I can see most of you saying B. We put an AB fistula and that will lead to arterialization of the vein, which will be acting as a conduit for doing the hemodialysis is what you need to remember. So, let us start our discussion for the day. Uh, yeah. So, we had been discussing endocrinology. Let us become the champions. Last five years, meet PG May, endocrinology May. What are the things that have been asked? We are going to review. Yes. Uh, Right. Thyroid is a favorite topic for the All India examiner, need PG, and also not only in medicine but also in um, surgery. Long acting thyroid stimulating agent. 
where does it basically act? Should remember, it is an antibody against the receptors of the thyroid is what I want to underscore to all of you. Right? Uh, good. Uh, so, typically if you take the TSIs, which are thyroid stimulating antibody, they are also called LATs, long acting thyroid stimulator. Graves disease may, there is an autoimmunity, lot of lymphocytes will be infiltrating the thyroid gland. And uh, they are the ones which produce this long acting thyroid stimulator. Just like TSH stimulates the thyroxine production. Uh, Madhushri is saying that the channel is not existent. Is it? Uh, uh, oh, I think. Uh, can you please once more uh, paste the channel address? Yeah, he is pasting one more channel, once more the channel address. Yes. Uh, yeah, can you please paste? That's good. It is existent. It is very much existent. We want to give it a name. Yeah. TSA acts very similar to the TSH. But there is no negative feedback. Generally, TSH ko kya hota? When T3, T4 levels elevate, they will go and inhibit the, uh, the, the that will be inhibiting the TSH uh, production. But thyroid stimulating antibodies, they don't have any negative feedback. Even though T3, T4 elevated, they continue to stimulate the thyroid is what you to remember. Now, yes, autoimmune thyroiditis. Generally, autoimmune disorders are all a big class of conditions together. So, that is the reason autoimmune thyroiditis is associated with what other conditions which are also autoimmune in nature. SLE, diabetes, myasthenia gravis, etc. So, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, classical example of autoimmunity. Very good. Sudha, Shukla, Snowbar, Vani, Alek, continue punching your answers parallelly along with me so that uh, you feel that you are solving 60 more questions, right? So typically we solve about 60 to 70 during discussion and 30 questions in the quiz, around 100 questions, chai pe chercha, dekhte, dekhte, khelte, khelte, kazam kar dete aap. Ye 100 questions ke chercha mein aap 8 to 10 topics pick up karna and you should make it a point that to go back to the U Medico, go to the video library and revise those points, those topics. If I say every day if you are improving, then automatically 3-4 months you are with me, you know better than me. So that is the day we should all look for. Yes. Now, thank you Manya for uh, subscribing to the free Medico channel. So, I want to see the number of subscribers more than 100 by the end of the class so that we can name it. And you can tell all your cousins, everybody, there will be free uh, live broadcasted sessions. Now, T3, T4 decreases in Hashimoto and TSH increases and anti peroxidase antibodies, anti thyroglobulin antibodies, you should remember in Hashimoto. And you need to, because the hypothyroid condition, you need to give levothyroxine, um, levothyroxine, which is uh, used as a replacement therapy. So, if you look at the hypothyroidism, what are the various causes, doctor? Uh, autoimmune, Hashimoto thyroiditis, where anti TPO, anti TG are there, thyroglobulin antibodies are there. Iodine deficiency, another important cause of hypothyroidism. Similarly, for the treatment of hyperthyroidism, if you, uh, Soham Singha, thanks for uh, subscribing. Excellent. Thank you. I want to see 100 subscribers finished so that I can tell YouTube fellows that please give me a channel youtube.com slash freemedico, which will 1.5 million students 
prepare for the uh, undergraduate uh, NEET doctor, you are some of the few selected great guys who became doctors. So 1.5 million people who prepare for NEET UG, everybody cannot afford, their parents cannot afford a uh, coaching program. So they are from village background everywhere. So we should create a revolution where we teach physics, chemistry, biology free and motivate them and help those guys uh, to get a uh, seat in medical school. So imidinon, lithium, they are the two drugs you need to remember for the hypothyroidism. Thank you everyone who are subscribing. Now type 1 diabetes, Edison, celiac, pernicious anemia, myasthenia gravis, SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, they are all the various autoimmune conditions which are associated with uh, the uh, autoimmune hypothyroidism. Even in thyroid lymphoma, you find uh, the development of hypothyroidism. Now, certain polyglandular autoimmune endocrinopathies, which you should not basically forget. Type 1 may, kya hota hai? There is an autoimmune regulator gene which is abnormal. Type 1 polyglandular endocrinopathy may, please don't forget, many times this question was asked. Hypoparathyroidism, Edison, mucocutaneous candidiasis, they are the combination along with hypothyroidism. Type 2 Schmidt syndrome may, you have Edison's type 1 diabetes and autoimmune thyroid. Type 1 mein kya hota? Type 2 mein kya hota? Favorite question of the examiner in uh, multiple autoimmune endocrinopathies you should uh, invariably remember. Now, hypothyroid patient ka lipid profile as a general physician, as a general physician you should always remember, uh, you should always remember the how to interpret a lipid profile report. So you should remember high cholesterol, high triglycerides are the ones which you will see in case of the hypothyroidism. So it increases cholesterol, triglycerides, excessive deposition of the fat in the liver leading to fatty liver and severe atherosclerosis. They are all the problems that you see in case of hypothyroidism. Normal thyroid function bolne ke liye, what is the best screening test which is available for you is a very important question, right? Uh, uh, yes, so TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone is the best screening test. So doctor, using the TSH, what is your algorithm? For hyperthyroidism ka causes ko, TSH ke basis pe, how are you going to reach the diagnosis? This algorithm you have to bookmark in the UMedico app. So two things you will take, TSH and free T4. Low TSH hai, magar high free T4 hai. Uska matlab kya hai? Fundamentally you should remember two things. Can you give me the board? Can you give me the board? Yes. So, thank you so much. Uh, Pranahit ready for subscribing. And I want each of you to bring at least 100 of your cousins who are preparing for the MBBS entrance looking at you that uh, Anna doctor hai, may be Dr. Baranga. So, you should tell them definitely I am on you medico, you come on free medico. So you should ask your cousins also to subscribe to this channel. And we have selected wonderful teachers who are ready to deliver the uh, continuously three to six hours we are planning every day on the pre medico app. Now, doctor, you have a pituitary, then you have a thyroid gland. Thyroid gland se nikalta hai. T3, T4, यहां से TSH तैर होके इसको आके stimulate करेगा. Suppose, 
what is the possibility why hyperthyroidism can happen thyroidism is a high tsh because pituitary adenoma is there or the second possibility it can arise because the thyroid glands are producing them excessively either of the two possibilities are there other hyperthyroidism is because of a problem in the pituitary adenoma then you have a high tsh and high free t4 but if the problem is because of within the thyroid then you have a high free t4 but that will go and suppress the tsh production so low tsh that means the problem is there basically lying in the thyroid is what you have to basically appreciate uh, now <coughs> low tsh and high t4 free t4 that means problem is in thyroid that's called primary hyperthyroidism then you have a high tsh high t4 that means problem is there in the pituitary that is it is secondary hyperthyroidism or thyroid hormone level resistance any receptor level resistance mein kya hota the hormone will be high and also the tsh level the stimulatory hormone also will be high then low tsh normal fp4 where do you get whenever you have a low tsh and a normal uh free t4 hai to you have to measure the free t3 levels suppose if the free t3 levels are also high that means only free t3 is high free t4 is normal and tsh is low that means it is a isolated triiodothyronine thyrotoxicosis that is how you will interpret suppose if free t3 is normal free t4 normal but tsh is low that typically happens if there is any subclinical hyperthyroidism or drugs ke wajah se bhi you get uh, this uh, uh, kind of a combination then in primary hyperthyroidism the problem is there in the thyroid gland that can occur because of the graves disease toxic multinodular goiter or a toxic adenoma isolated nodule toxic adenoma how do you differentiate very simple you have to look for that the the thyroid receptor tsh receptor antibodies if they are positive and radioactive iodine uptake is very diffuse throughout the gland then the problem is graves if the trab is negative and the uptake is nodular not diffuse then it can be multi nodular or toxic adenoma there you have to look for the receptor antibodies how are they obviously they are negative and there is a irregular intake then uh, uptake then that is toxic multi nodular goiter if there is a only single nodular uptake then that is the toxic adenoma that is how you conclude and approach primary hyperthyroidism where the problem is there directly in the thyroid gland that is what you should uh, remember now uh, commandant is saying sir jara board ke upar batao na it's very easy it's very easy doctor yeah can you give me the board so you look at the tsh and free t4 if the free t4 is high and tsh is low that means problem is there within the thyroid within the thyroid now in this there are three possibilities there can be a grave grave disease or it can be multi nodular goiter mng or it can be toxic adenoma how will you differentiate one method is radioactive iodine uptake 
अगर रेडियो एक्टिव आयोडीन अपटेक लिए तो ग्रेप्स में पूरा ग्लैंड विल हैव इंक्रीज अपटेक डिफ्यूज दैट इज ग्रेप्स देर एज मल्टी नोडुलर गॉइटर में टिपिकली इफ दीज आर दाइरॉइड ग्लैंड only those nodules will pick up and the surrounding tissues will be cold they won't pick up so that is multi nodular agar toxic adenoma hai to only that single adenoma that will only pick up excessive radioactive iodine so that is how you will differentiate based on the rai u pattern another thing is the thyroid stimulating antibodies tsaps they are the ones which you see in the case of the grave but they are negative in toxic or multi nodular goiter so that is how you will approach primary hyperthyroidism where the problem is there in thyroid recognized by high ft4 with a low tsh is what you need to remember but at the other side of the story pituitary ke andar barbadi hai then that is called secondary hyperthyroidism so how you will recognize it pre t4 will be high even the tsh also will be high in case of secondary hyperthyroidism usme tension nahi hai easy hai but there is one more situation which will create confusion what is that situation uh, that you have in the middle of this two in the middle of this two you have a low tsh and a normal pre t4 third situation so if it is like that look for the t3 if the t3 is elevated pre t3 so high pre t3 normal pre t4 low tsh hai patient ko hyperthyroidism clinical features hai then it is isolated t3 thyrotoxicosis it is called as the other situation is agar ft3 levels are normal ft4 are normal but patient has a low tsh there the possibilities are subclinical subclinical hyperthyroidism or it can be because of the drugs is what you have to remember so very easy to remember so uh yes then uh, so this uh, slide four point slide you have to bookmark in uh, u medico app please don't forget so high tsh high t4 high to problem is in pituitary adenoma i mean central problem once more that can be a problem in the pituitary or that can be because of the resistance to thyroid hormone also you have a high tsh so how are you going to look at it you will do thyroid uh, trh right tsh uh, releasing hormone test suppose if there is no response then that means it is a autonomous pituitary adenoma which don't require a trh right without that only pituitary adenoma continues to produce tsh so that means it is pituitary adenoma but if the pituitary is still responsive to the trh action that means the high tsh is not because of the autonomous pituitary but because of the thyroid hormone level resistance is what we need to ultimately remember now doc thyrotoxic periodic paralysis hypokalemic periodic paralysis right na all limbs become paralyzed and patient will be brought one guy will be holding his uh, shoulders another guy will be holding his legs and throws on the bed and they will say doctor bachao mere bete ko he is otherwise all right bolta hai so that is periodic paralysis fundamentally it is a hypokalemic periodic paralysis that you see in thyrotoxic people who develop especially india asian descent mein jisko hyperthyroidism hai usko periodic paralysis aata hai now let us look into it 
why people with hyperthyroidism of asian descent have uh, periodic paralysis is a point of discussion whenever normal level of thyroid hormones hai then you have something called kir2 six receptor kir kir k i r kir and that typically will lead to a normal excitability of the muscle cell but those people who have high levels of thyroid hormones and a mutation of the kir2 then they will cause increased kir2 transcription occur and that lead to altered channel activity and that increase excitability of the muscle cell and that lead to flaccid paralysis which is called thyrotoxic periodic paralysis is what you have to remember so is way do cheeze yaad rakhna kir mutations tomorrow's examiner is going to sound kir kir in your uh, uh, ears you should tell what is the very famous word in telangana kir kiri kir kiri mat karo bolte ha so kir kiri kare to kya ho jata periodic paralysis ho jata kir ha so now doc of the various causes of hypokalemic periodic paralysis thyrotoxicosis is the most common secondary hypokalemic periodic paralysis and uh, generally kir mutations will not show up themselves with periodic paralysis but if that guy develops thyrotoxicosis also then the kir mutations will make all the difference and lead to development of paralysis so it is a kcn j18 gene called kir26 and uh, episodic proximal weakness is there and what precipitates this commonly patients will tell isne dawat ko gaye biryani khaya aur baad mein aise gir gaya doctor sahab kuch karo na bolte so when you eat biryani what happened hyperinsulinemia occur so hyperinsulinemia carbohydrate overload exercise they are the predisposing factors and sometimes thyrotoxic periodic paralysis is also associated with uh, myasthenia gravis is a very important question now in case of hypokalemic periodic paralysis actually potassium levels total level in the serum body potassium it is not actually diminished only that uh, channel level entry got affected so that is the reason if you happen to generally hypokalemic periodic paralysis mein aap bahut potassium de dete if you try to over jealously administer the potassium to these people it can lead to rebound hyperkalemia that's the reason potassium should be given very slowly if this periodic paralysis hypokalemic periodic paralysis is associated with the thyrotoxicosis is what you have to basically remember our glass shape of the chest along with triradiate pelvis radiologically where do you see is a very important question in case of osteomalacia vitamin d deficiency so what is a triradiate pelvis doctor if you look at the acetabular so you can see acetabular protrusion which is classical feature and uh, there is a separation of the pubic symphysis in this triradiate pelvis which is a consequence of the um, osteomalacia now osteomalacia also affects the growth centers and it lead to bowing of the long bones because of weakening of the growth plate so this is a case of malignancy associated paraneoplastic osteomalacia this patient had so you can see that our glass contraction of the chest and you can see uh, a significant loss of the lung volume with a overall bell shaped rib cage it's it's looking like a bell youtube me notifications ke liye bell marte na tick karte waise bell ke jaise dikh rahe and also fracture of the left ulnar shaft and the fracture of the left distal fibula 
in a patient who had a paraneoplastic osteomalacia is what you need to remember. Now, the current laboratory tests which are detecting TSH, they can detect the TSH at a minimum level of how much, what is the value is the examiner's question. 0 0.004 milli units per ml height of TSH get detected. Sub Himalayan region may hypothyroidism kyo hota hai? Iodine deficiency, it is a typical goitrogenic belt, is what you have to remember. Now, doc, hypothyroidism may which diselectrolytemia is found? Question number 79. Please punch your answer, doctor. Let me check. Correctly answer and make me feel proud. Uh, question number uh, 79. I like the word backbencher revolution. Very good. Tricky name. So, Sudipti proposes hypothermia. Uh, Chandu proposes hypokalemia. Hypokalemia is in the hyperthyroidism, doctor. Not hypo. Classical. Till yesterday we were discussing this question. Come on. Please don't say you uh, want to answer it wrong. I will cry if you answer this wrong. SIADH is important, that also causes the same dyslipidemia. SIADH, at least one clue I am giving you. Come on, Somesh Gar, Soumya, everyone, clean bowl, Sumaya. Sayadilia Sahibola, hyponatremia doctor, of course, hypothermia also. Also hypothermia. Ah, very good, hyponatremia. So, why hyponatremia develops in hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism, it will induce the cardiac carotid baroreceptors and make ADH get released that will lead to water retention and that will dilute the sodium concentration is what you need to remember. Now, hypothyroidism is caused by which important drug? Hypothyroidism can be secondary to the autoimmune conditions like scleroderma. Hemochromatosis, lithium like drugs, which you should not remember, forget. So, if you look at causes of hypothyroidism, this table is very important. Please uh, bookmark this. One question on thyroid, doctor. Need PG me. 300 ke liye nahi, 299 ke liye. Okay, one question without thyroid, examiner chodega nahi aapko. Huh? So, you should be very sure. Yes. So, idiopathic hypothyroidism, Hashimoto thyroidism, very common cause of the primary hypothyroidism we see in day in and day out clinical practice. Any irradiation of thyroid subsequent to Graves disease ko treat karne ke liye, agar aap radiotherapy diye to, patient will land in hypothyroidism. Surgical removal of thyroid, thyroiditis, side indemption. Secondary kyo hota hai, pituitary or a hypothalamic neoplasm. Pituitary necrosis as in uh, Sheehan's or a congenital hypopituitary. Then drug therapy, amiodarone, interferon, lithium. You should remember for hypothyroidism. And sarcoidosis, amiodosis, scleroderma, hemochromatosis, they are all the infiltrative diseases which lead. Excellent. Ritu Raj rightly says, amiodarone mein do chize hota. O hyperthyroidism bhi karan ho sakta. Hypothyroidism both the things it can cause, right? Now, what is the replacement dose of the thyroxine per day is a very, very interesting question. Actually, it is per kg body weight. So, 1.6 micrograms per kg body weight. Agar 60 kg admi ko liye to, 60 into 1.6, around. 100 micrograms is the normal, normally you have to start. So ideally we start at 12.5 micrograms daily and based on the age, weight and cardiac status, we will be careful while prescribing the dosage of the thyroxine. And once you start thyroxine, you need to assess within 4 to 6 weeks the TSH levels. And after that, you need to do a follow-up after 6 months. And after that, 
annually once a TSH is in the normal range. So uh, this is very very important to be remembered. Now uh, how does hypothyroidism present? It presents with galactoria. Galactoria. Now the question is why galactoria occur in case of hypothyroidism obviously is the question. So how do you approach the problem of a white discharge from the nipple? It can be due to milk or it may not be due to milk. So whenever there is a nipple discharge, it can be a non-galactoric discharge. In that scenario, you should look breast cancer, interductal papilloma, papillomatosis, mammary duct ectasia, fibrocystic disease. They are all the things that should be there in your mind in non-galactoric discharge. Then, if it is a galactoria, you should do HCG, prolactin, TSH, blood urea, nitrogen, and creatinine levels for test. Karna. Karne ke baad, agar high TSH level, low thyroxine level hai to, then it is a hypothyroidism responsible for the galactoria. If there is a normal TSH but a high prolactin more than 20, hai to, you have to do an MRI imaging. To look for any uh, prolactinoma. If it is a normal TSH and a normal prolactin, then you need to check whether menses are regular, and if they are regular, then uh, you need to only do reassurance and observation, is considered to be the management of choice. Now, in hypothyroidism, typically what is the condition that presents with hypothyroidism? As we have already discussed that myasthenia gravis, hemochromatosis, scleroderma, you should not forget as the underlying causes for the development of the hypothyroidism. Very good. Maunika rightly answers. Um, Roger also. Very good. Now doc. Um, what are all the associations of autoimmune hypothyroidism? Vitiligo, celiac disease, pernicious anemia, dermatitis herpetiformis, Edison, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, type 1 diabetes, myasthenia gravis, Jogren's. Any of them can be associated with the autoimmune hypothyroidism is what you need to remember. Now, about hypothyroidism. It lead to a distended abdomen. Widening of the fontanel, delaying of the dentition, that's how uh, it presents in the pediatric population. Proptosis, where do you see? We see it in sarcoidosis, pituitary adenoma, and primary thyrotoxicosis, mein hota hai, not in hypothyroidism. So, easy, common mnemonic to remember proptosis is VEEN. Vascular causes, endocrinal, inflammatory, and neoplastic causes. So, endocrine may Graves disease, number one cause for the development of uh, proptosis, orbital cellulitis, orbital tumors, cavernous sinus fistulas, and decreased orbital fat with the aging or an orbital fracture can lead to an ophthalmos is what you need to remember. Once more, All India 2015-16 May, favorite question is proptosis, where you don't see was the question. Pituitary adenoma, sarcoidosis, graves, they are all the underlying causes where proptosis is seen. So, grave, which is a hyperthyroid condition, may proptosis raita, not in hypothyroid situation. Ankle jerky, it is slow and sluggish ankle jerk. It's called hung up ankle jerk. It is one of the classical features in case of uh, the uh, hypothyroidism. Now, what is the feature that you see in hypothyroidism once more? Cold intolerance, pericardial effusion, deafness. Any of them can be the features of uh, the hypothyroidism. 17 year old girl, she was evaluated, she has a short height, enlarged pituitary, T4 was low, 
TSH has increased, then what is the most likely diagnosis in this given scenario where she has enlarged a pituitary? So you should remember T4 was low and TSH has increased. TSH has increased. So that means the problem is lying with her thyroid per se, which is not producing the T4. And that is making the pituitary to overproduce the TSH. Hence, it is a case of primary hypothyroidism, is what you need to remember. So, doctor, three conditions. How is there TSH? How is there free T4? Very important question. Primary hypothyroidism means TSH is elevated, free T4 is low. Subclinical hypothyroidism means TSH is elevated but 3T4 is normal. Secondary hypothyroidism may 3T4 is low but TSH level is either normal or low. That is what you have to ultimately remember. Where do you use heel pad thickness is an important question. In case of acromegaly. Acromegaly may from the lowest part point of the calcaneum, you will look at till where the thickness of the shadow of the soft tissue of the heel, you calculate the distance, increased heel thickness, heel pad thickness is a sign of acromegaly is what you have to remember. Males, they get up, average 19 data. 1.9 centimeters right a value this this measurement around 25 is called increased heel pad thickness is what you have to remember now doc hypothyroidism may what are the clinical problems that you have you should remember there are a lot of gynecological issues that can happen with uh, the hypothyroidism menorrhagia increased bleeding Early abortions, galactoria, any of them can be seen in case of the hypothyroidism. So, there is a hyperprolactinemia which can lead to development of aminoria and galactoria. And the serum sex hormone binding globulin concentration become low in hypothyroidism and that will lead to a lower serum total uh, levels of the testosterone and estrogen that's what you have to remember so oligo or amenorrhea or hypermenorrhea hypermenorrhea and menorrhagia either of the two can be the presentations of uh, the hypothyroidism reversible dementia classically is a feature of alex seth is saying why not thromboembolism let's be thankful to the god that there is no thromboembolism right there are many other causes for thromboembolism like nephrotic syndrome, etc. etc. So, the reversible cause of the dementia, always remember hypothyroidism. A lot of times, patients come very late. Am itna padai karke, itna jnani bante na. But all this jnan ultimately helping the patient, mankind. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen, right? So, if it happens, you can bring light in the life of so many people. Just check one hypothyroid patient, very neglected case coming from a small village. The moment you start him detected, use thyroxine and his hypothyroidism is being corrected. Otherwise, in the village, they call him different, different names. When myxedema is very severe, you will behave like a psychotic fellow, right? So, in uh, villages, psychosis means it's a big issue, right? They think that this devata has come on him, this devata has come. So, simple hypothyroidism, even in the independent India, after so many years of independence, still is a unmet need of the population. So, you should uh, study this topic with a social responsibility in your heart. So, what are the seven A's uh, of dementia? 
uh, commandant is asking is neat pg a cause of dementia no 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 neat pg is such a lovely challenge to the mind that those who crack neat pg will get a delayed dementia that i can at least promise you all right so itna kachra yaad rakhe to dimag kabhi bhi kharab hone ka chance nahi hai ISO mark dal sakte ho dimag pe agar aap need pg mark ko beat kare to right now anosognosia that is the person even doesn't know that he has got the disease that is anosognosia agnosia inability to recognize the objects aphasia apraxia altered perception amnesia apathy they are called the seven a's of uh, the dementia is what you need to remember tsh cannot be used for the monitoring of the treatment in good situation obviously what is the cause for the secondary hypothyroidism pituitary is not working it is not producing tsh that is called secondary hypothyroidism so you cannot use the tsh to monitor secondary hypothyroidism but you can use it to monitor the primary hypothyroidism primary hypothyroidism mein kya hota thyroxine will be low tsh is high the moment you give thyroid replacement the high tsh normalizes but you cannot be able to use the same tsh for monitoring the treatment of hypothyroidism in case of the secondary hypothyroidism where by very nature secondary hypothyroidism mein pituitary problem hai low tsh hai that is really leading to the hypothyroidism hence you cannot use the tsh very good question now doctor tertiary ka matlab hota hai hypothalamic dysfunction secondary hota hai pituitary dysfunction primary hota hai thyroid dysfunction leading to hypothyroidism is what you have to remember so thyroid dysfunction uh thyroid dysfunction if you look at it primary hypothyroidism ka causes you should always be very sure hashimoto radio ablation destruction of the thyroid because the melanocytes are hardened osses iodine deficiency most common cause congenital defects amiodarone lithium carbamazole aminoglutamide they are all the ones which are responsible now doctor most common presentation of sick euthyroid syndrome a lajawab question uh Vishwajit Sahu is saying, sir, image quality of the cameraman is not good. Uh, Bhai, I am not showing the camera. Please uh, set the camera so that students... Uh, how is the camera projection? Is the clarity not there? Uh, yes, very good. sometimes when internet is slow on your side youtube sarkar isko thoda blur kar dega ha huh? so don't worry anyway slides dikhaye to kaafi hai mai dikhaye na nahi dikhaye itna farak nahi padta ha huh? so there are younger guys like uh, gautam or uh, dr gautam who teaches surgery or uh, uh, dr uh, Gopati Srinivas, who teaches pediatrics, they are all much more glamorous guys. Their camera should have clarity. Yeah, right. So, uh, yes, low T3, normal T4. That is a most important, uh, uh, most important thing about sick youth thyroid state. This important combination of the features. Even सोते हुए भी आप भूलना मत सिक यू थेरोइड में क्या होता है टोटल टी थ्री बिकम रेड्यूस फ्री टी थ्री बिकम रेड्यूस टोटल टी फोर विल बिकम रेड्यूस बट फ्री टी फोर इज नॉर्मल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड टी एस एच इज नॉर्मल 
and clinically patient is used later on. Mainly three points you should remember. Clinically euthanoid, TSH normal, FP4 normal, but FP3 reduced. This is the combination of sick euthanoid syndrome. You have to bookmark this PowerPoint slide in the UMedico app. Set it up a reminder. Yadrako, exam made tomorrow, need PG exam is going to ask this question. Paper out there, secret. Don't tell your friends. Huh? So, tell all your friends. Only when you tell all your friends, you will remember the things better. So, when you get sick youth thyroid syndrome is a very important question. Severe illness, caloric deprivation. Agar aap starving mein hai, kuch bhi khane ke liye kuch bhi nahi hai. Physical trauma, physiological stress. Ye sab cheeze jab hote hai when you are sick. There is an altered regulation of TSH production. TSH markedly decreases in 24 to 48 hours and then returns to normal. And the peripheral conversion of T4 to T3 doesn't happen. Isliye, free T3 become low and T4, FT4 is normal, TSH is normal, critically euthyroid. But free T3 is low in these people is what you have to remember. So, Let's quickly run through in general uh, about hypothyroidism. Let us talk about it. I'm not talking sick you thyroid. Sick you thyroid, you understood what it is. But generally hypothyroidism may TSH is high, free T4 low, free T3 low. Ultrasound ka kuch value hai kya hypothyroidism evaluation may unless your wife's brother is having a radiology center, there is a very little value for ultrasound. Thyroid scintigraphy could help kar sakta kya hypothyroidism mein. It has got a very little value. But anti-thyroid antibodies, anti-TPO antibodies, they do have. Uh, what is thyroid scintigraphy? Aap radioactive iodine le, de te, radioactive iodine uptake ke baad ek photo le te, thyroid ka. Or depending upon the pattern of the uptake, you will make a diagnosis which is very helpful. In case of uh, the, uh, in the case of hyperthyroidism, like Graves versus multinodular goiter versus toxic adenoma, to differentiate, that is very very important. So, CPK level, CST, LDH, cholesterol, triglycerides, they are all elevated. There is a normochromic, normocytic, or macrocytic anemia. Please remember. Hypothyroidism is one of the causes for non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia where the mean corpuscular volume is more than 100 is what you need to remember. Increased serum prolactin, hyponatremia. This is the typical investigations in the case of the hypothyroidism is what you need to remember. Yeah, just give me one second doctor. Now, Doc, what are the important ECG findings in case of the hypothyroidism? Patients will have a low voltage ECG, sinus bradycardia, PR interval get prolonged, T wave inversion, ventricular premature complexes, sustained or non sustained VT, and prolongation of QT. They are all the ECG abnormalities of the hypothyroidism, is what you need to remember. Now, whenever TSH is high, what is your important differential diagnosis? Primary hypothyroidism or it can sometimes be transient. 
and those who have adrenal insufficiency they can have a low i mean a elevated tsh any t4 resistance these are all the important uh, causes so pre t4 is low and tsh is low then what is the possibility it is the problem arising in the pituitary dysfunction where tsh is not produced leading to hypothyroidism that is central hypothyroidism and always whenever central hypothyroidism pituitary dysfunction ke wajah se hypothyroidism hue to pituitary is also not producing acth that's the reason adrenal insufficiency also will come like a 1 plus 1 offer so that is the reason always in case of secondary hypothyroidism due to pituitary dysfunction don't forget to evaluate adrenal insufficiency is a very very important point so whenever you have hypothyroidism what is the algorithm of approach so once more measure tsh if it is elevated tsh i am once more repeating to you already i discussed measure t ft4 free t4 if it is normal then possibility is it can be a subclinical hypothyroidism then you look for tpo thyroid peroxidase um, antibodies if they are positive then you give t4 replacement if they are negative ask the patient to come for annual follow up who has a subclinical hypothyroid so when tsh is elevated you have measured free t4 suppose if it is low that means there is a primary hypothyroidism that is problem in the thyroid gland there you do the tpo levels if they are positive peroxidase levels then uh, hashimoto if they are negative then other causes then once more when tsh is measured if it is normal normal tsh in a patient who has hypothyroidism or if it is a low uh, tsh always consider pituitary so if you are considering pituitary then measure the free t4 suppose if it is low then you evaluate either for pituitary or drug effect or a sick u thyroid syndrome is what i want to conclude so once more doctor you have to run through these straight away hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism anybody will answer in exam only if the examiner will challenges you to discover sick u thyroid syndrome you should remember tsh is normal pre t4 normal u thyroid patient but pre t3 is low that is called sick u thyroid that is one thing you should not do a mistake okay then second way examiner can challenge you is primary hypothyroidism where the problem is in the thyroid versus secondary hypothyroidism where the problem in the pituitary he expects you to answer correctly in the tomorrow's exam so what is the ultimate goal while you are treating the hypothyroidism is a very important question normal tsh level sir is chart remember in exam sir लॉजिक समझ में आ गए तो आपको ले जाके बे ऑफ बंगाल में फेंक दिए तो भी आप करेक्टली आंसर करेगा जब तक लॉजिक दिमाग के अंदर बैठेगा नहीं आप निमोनिक बनाओ निमोनिया बनाओ कुछ भी बनाओ इट वॉन्ट हेल्प राइट सो आप गोइंग और एक बार ठंडी दिमाग से दोस्तों के साथ बैठ के राइट ओपन ए कैन ऑफ बियर एंड बाय द टाइम बियर इज ओवर यू शुड बी रेडी विथ the next uh, eight or 10 topics that should be spirit now how do you treat once daily dosing of the levothyroxine 1.6 mg per kg per day to 1.8 mg per kg per day should be your goal and you need to monitor for 6 to 8 weeks then always the rule of treatment of hypothyroidism doctor please don't forget start low aim high just the way you should do it in a any romantic relation start low aim high now doc how do you treat hypothyroidism if no residual thyroid function bilkul nahi hai to 1.5 microgram per kg per day suppose if it is a elderly patient but no cardiac disease then you can start 50 to 100 microgram per day 
सपोज इफ इज ए एल्डरली हर्नरी आर्ट डिजीज भी है उसको डोंट फर्गेट डोंट ट्राई टू जंप एंड स्टार्ट की मेट फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड माइक्रोग्राम मे बी हाइपोथेरेटिजम की वजह से कुछ भी नहीं होता मगर बिकॉज ऑफ योर एग्रेसिव ट्रीटमेंट विथ एक्सेसिव थाइरोक्सिन की मे गोइंग टू कंजस्ट टू हार्ट फेलियर सो ऑलवेज अगर खर्नरी आर्ट डिजीज है तो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट 12.5 to 25 micrograms in cardiac patients while you are correcting the um, hypothyroidism is what you need to remember so always in the age is the first criteria elderly may half the dosage half 1.6 microgram per kg per body weight kg body weight hai na usme half se shuru karna and uh, if there is a malabsorption they require a higher dose then uh, if there is a concomitant drug therapy always thyroxin should be taken on empty stomach so you should tell the patients tum khaya nahi even brushing bhi nahi kiya first thing in your life when you get up is to take your thyroxin pill most important thing is what you should tell pregnancy may what happens in a hypothyroid a pregnant woman do you need to increase or decrease the dosage always remember 25 to 50 percent you have to increase in the dosage another common question thyroxin replacement is it safe in lactating mother absolutely safe and any cardiac disease instead of giving a daily thyroxin dose start a alternate dose alternate day treatment is what you have to basically remember so commonly patient ask a question what is the speed at which i will improve on it he starts feeling better within 2 to 3 weeks he will get you the cake right and uh, fruits thank you doctor i am now feeling better then there is a reduction of weight first improvement sab log mota mota bolte hai mai bhi chalne ke liye bahut mushkil ho dikkat hota tha magar uh, after starting your uh, thyroxin replacement my weight is little better i am more flexible elastic patient will dance in the op facial puffiness slowly will come down skin changes will take a little longer time to regress and uh, um, cholesterol also will decrease so that is how the whole story of uh, managing practically a hypothyroid patient doctor right now in mixed edema what happens there is a slow pulse hypotension dry skin all of you know very well mixed edema coma hypothyroidism ke coma aap treatment mein kya kya dena chahte favorite question of the examiner doctor you give levothyroxine leothyronine t3 and t4 dono dena padta hydrocortisone so first what will you do when a patient is having mixed edema coma one patient of mixed edema coma if you manage you will never forget the things in life right first hospitalize in intensive care unit all medications they should be given intravenously in case of the mixed edema is what you need to remember very good to see 200 online students um attending the session good um i have zenit ranga prasad lot of new friends joining every day so please don't forget to download you medico app subscribe call our helpline they will give you a cheaper subscription than the in app payment and uh, you can uh, be able to um, review for the exam yes now um, alexander is our another new friend please come every day i will be there to be with you forever until you get the seat that is my promise to all of you yes so hospitalization karna hai iv fluids should be given but with a caution why because already patient ko hyponatremia rehta because of the hypothyroidism if you uh, if you happen to give too much of uh, iv fluids it can further worsen the hyponatremia so be careful levothyroxine t4 400 micrograms iv initially followed by 50 micrograms daily intravenously and t3 can also be used leothyronine 
Hydrocortisone, don't forget, very important thing which you should not forget. 200 milligrams intravenously because commonly hypothyroidism coexists with adrenal insufficiency, especially in mixed edema coma patients. And always precipitating factors for the mixed edema coma, like underlying heart failure or infection, they also need to be addressed, is what you need to remember. So, first is etiological therapy, leothyronine and levothyroxine. Support therapy with hydrocortisone. Then electrolyte imbalance, you need to do water restriction and 0.9% NaCl if sodium is less than 120. Then in selected scenarios, you may need to ventilate the patient if he is having a respiratory acidosis due to hypoventilation. You need to give IV fluzamide if the hypothyroidism led to CHF and there is a pulmonary edema. And you need to treat the hypothermia when the temperature is less than 35 degrees. And always remember, concomitant hypoadrenalism, Schmidt syndrome exists in a mixed edema coma patient. Sometimes concomitant pan hypopituitarism also can coexist. That's the reason. Just don't treat thyroid alone, but also treat the other endocrine organs is considered to be a very important part of the management. A male child has coarse features, macroglossia, thick lips, hepatosplenomegaly, copious mucus discharge. What is your diagnosis? Classical case of the Hurler syndrome. Once more, if you go back to our uh, older discussions, PGA, Chandigarh, Ames, Cushion Bank, Hurler is a favorite topic of the examiner. Hunter or Hurler may, kisko corneal opacity nahi rehta. Hunter is free from corneal clouding. Hurler has got a corneal clouding. That's what you need to remember. So, Hurler may. Hepatosplenomegaly, coarse facial features, corneal clouding, large tongue, they are all the classical features. Dancing carotids are a sign of a hyperdynamic circulation, which is classically seen in case of the thyrotoxicosis. If you want to see dancing carotids, just type in the YouTube, dancing carotids. There are patients with dancing carotids, wonderful videos which are available, right? What is the most common DD for the hyperthyroidism in a young female? Very important clue. So, commonly tremors, vosabra, hyperthyroidism. Mein. Young female may ho gaya to people keep saying, hey, she has an anxiety neurosis. That is the most common differential diagnosis. Anxiety neurosis, anemia, heart disease, cirrhosis, PB, myasthenia, menopausal syndrome. Pheochromocytoma. So, hyperthyroidism is a big masquerade of uh, a lot of other clinical illnesses in general medicine. But anxiety neurosis is the most often confused uh, differential. So, whenever you have thyrotoxicosis, broadly the etiology can be broken into two streams. How? Radioactive iodine uptake will help you. Increased radioactive iodine uptake in a thyrotoxic patient comes for that. If it is a TSH secreting tumor or if there is any pituitary resistance or if TSAPs in grave disease or tropoblastic disease may excess HCG, alpha subunit of HCG has the same activity like TSH and that can lead to thyrotoxic causes as a presentation. There also increased radioactive iodine uptake will be there. Toxic adenoma, multinodular goiter, there is increased uptake. Whereas decreased radioactive iodine uptake in a case of thyrotoxicosis, please punch this slide in the UMedico app. Okay. So, painless thyroiditis, subacute thyroiditis, and uh, the inflammatory thyroid disease, and stroma ovarii, in all these, REIU is decreased, but there is thyrotoxicosis for the patient. Very, very important PPT slide. Bookmark karna bhunna mat. So I am very happy. Agar bookmark karke reminder set kar diye to the reminders notifications are coming every 15 minutes to you. I am very happy to know that from all of you in the UMedico app. Very good. And any other suggestions that you have to improve the app, please let us know. We will be very very eager to help you out to improve technologically 
we are now doing a lot of data analytics on your uh, uh, in-app uh, behavior like uh, what are the slides most students are bookmarking what are the slides most students are setting up reminders so that that will help to analyze what concept students will have struggle and that analysis of data is going to make us to become a better teacher better companion better mentor so that's the whole idea so keep rocking on the uh umedico app now doc um gestational hyperthyroidism um uh, shika munka says reminder is not working please uh, check i think generally reminders are all working that's the feedback i got you have to set up your notifications by chance if you set down the notifications you won't get a reminder gestational hyperthyroidism beta hcg in the placenta alpha subunit of it and the tsh are having a similar structure that's what you need to remember so uh, yes can you open up the next ppt no no you might have sent it in the email vishwajit sahu is asking sir till what date this live class at 6 pm will go on until dr murli bharadwaj breathes on this planet these evening sessions will continue with a lot more number of teachers we have got a lot of teachers so don't worry at all every day it is a free class huh one more inbox me go inbox uh no no uh, part two part two no no above that part two ka part two yeah this one yes so it will continue doctor it is wonderful students like you who always inspire me to uh be with you all yeah ravi is asking how will you differentiate mnd and graves graves may put a diffuse radioactive iodine uptake will be there whereas in the case of the multi nodular goiter only nodules will show increased uptake and there's a suppressed uptake of radioactive iodine in the surrounding areas yes so yes doc now uh yeah please take a part shot yes very good thank you monica for a good word that after you get the seat you should be active contributors and uh, you conduct a quiz session for the students and uh, we can extend a longer period of time uh, of this session we will do all that so doc uh, what are the clinical signs that you see in the case of the graves disease is a very important question infrequent blinking not the frequent blinking so what are the various signs so this is a case of uh, a uh, patient who had a infrequent blinking before treatment in the graves which normalized after the treatment is what you should remember so a angrezi log hai na doctor khatarnak log bharat ko chhod ke ba chhod ke jaane ke baad bhi ye apne acronymous names ko they are forcing us to remember for need pg rosen back sign that is tremors on closing the eyelid still walk sign a staring look with infrequent blinking then uh uh dar limples dal rimple sign the rim of this sclera 
uh, is seen between the upper eyelid and the cornea is called darlimple sign. Von Graff's, when you ask them to close the eye, the upper lip will be lagging. Geoffroy sign, there is a loss of the forehead corrugation. Normally, when you look up, no, your uh, forehead may corrugation will be there. That will be missing. And Mobius sign, because the ocular myopathy, they can't be able to converge. Converge uh, is what you need to remember. Shika Munka is asking how we can see other bookmark. Definitely, if you happen to uh, click on the uh, bookmark sign, then you will get all the people who have bookmarked this. The list will come, and you can click on the list, one of the guys, and you can start interacting with that guy if you want. So that's how the bookmark. Directly on the bookmark sign, if you click. You will get the list of the people who have uh, reacted, right? Yes. Now, what is characteristic of the graves? Graves may hota hai hyperthyroidism, atrial fibrillation, ophthalmopathy, but not uh, the pretibial myxedema, which is seen in the case of the hypo. Then, what are the drugs that you use? In case of the thyroid crisis, is a very important question. Yes. Can you go back uh, to the slideshow? Escape, escape, escape. One minute. Yeah. Now, uh, yes, once more, examiner's favorite question is all these ocular signs. So you should remember uh, lid retraction, poor convergence, upper lid lag is a important feature. Yes. Now, doc, uh, how do you treat thyroid crisis? Is an important question. So we use propranolol, iodine, corticosteroids whenever thyrotoxic crisis is there. That is called thyroid storm. If thyroid storm ho gaya to, what do you want to do? First, you want to remove all the excess thyroxine quickly, dramatically. You can do that by doing plasma paresis or a charcoal plasma perfusion. You have to inhibit the new hormone. For that, you will be giving propyl thiouracil. Then you inhibit the release of the hormone. Iodine, potassium iodide, Lugol solution, iopionic acid, lithium carbonate can help. And you need to decrease the peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. And that you will be doing uh, PTU, corticosteroids, beta blockade, propranolol, etc. Et so that is the reason propranolol to decrease the peripheral T4 to T3 conversion. You very much use in the management of the thyroid storm. Once more the examiner's question. Thyroid storm, need PG 2015. What are the drugs except what? So you should remember, we use propyl thiuracil, potassium iodide, glucocorticoids, they are all very much used. So how does propranolol help in thyroid storm, doctor? Propranolol first takes care of the cardiovascular symptoms. Second, it will go and inhibit the monodioiodinase type 1 and 2 so that thyroxine 2 p3 doesn't happen which is a potent form instead t4 become converted into reverse t3 which is uninhibited which is not inhibited by propranolol so more reverse t3 levels will increase in case of uh, propranolol usage is what you need to remember so summarize doctor Thyroid storm mein kya istemal karte? Beta blockers, propyl thyrazyl, metimazole, iodide, steroids. They are the ones which are commonly used. But what is the order of administration? First beta blocker they do symptomatically patient tanda ho gaya. Or propyl thyrazyl or metimazole is the second opportunity. Then iodide is third or fourth option. And steroids also are third or fourth in order is what you need to remember. Graves disease may... What are the cardiac manifestations? 
you should know a wide pulse pressure atrial fibrillation and uh, lurchman scratch which is a peri pleuro pericardial scratch due to pericarditis that you see in the case of the graves so all symptoms of thyrotoxicosis cardiovascular respiratory eyes face skin appendages everything you should be very very sure about doctor i leave the literature for you now if there is a hyperthyroidism after the administration of a supplemental iodine to the people who are in a endemic area of iodine deficiency iodine deficiency hai endemic area mein hai supplemental iodine diya aur patient ended up in hyperthyroidism usko kya kehte hain isko kehte hain jord besdaus phenomena is what you need to remember so let us talk about what is wolf chaikoff effect and jord besdau phenomena whenever there is a iodine deficiency that will increase the blood flow to the thyroid and it upregulates the receptors and that will make more increased uptake the thyroid become hungry khilao khilao bolega agar isme aap iodine de diye to then there is a excessive iodine absorption and that will inhibit the thyroid iodide organification which is called as the wolf chaikoff effect is what need to be remember so wolf chaikoff ultimately is what type of effect it leads to hypothyroidism is wolf chaikoff effect so hypothyroidism when you administer iod in a patient of autoimmune thyroiditis or any thyroid deficiency iodine deficiency state there will lead to excessive uptake and inhibition of organification of thyroxine leading to hypothyroidism is called wolf chaikoff effect is what need to be remembered whereas what is jord based of phenomena if you give iodide that lead to hyperthyroidism in those patients who have a multinodular goiter and graves disease may agar thoda bhi iodine de diye to it lead to hyperthyroidism is what you need to remember so simple thing ultimately in exam what will you remember jord based dau effect is hyper wolf chaikoff is a hypo how will you remember jord is j jada ho jata hai jada hona is hyperthyroidism wolf chaikoff chaikoff is chota ho jata hai and that is hypothyroidism is what you see in case of the wolf chaikoff is what you need to remember whichever the way you like to remember so where do you see thyroid stop what are the predisposing factors any surgery perioperative infection and uh, neonatal thyrotoxicosis anything can uh, lead to development of the thyroid storm so already we discussed this very important table what drugs to decrease thyroxine synthesis what to prevent the release prevent the peripheral effects and giving corticosteroids and antipyretics is a very crucial part of the management of the thyroid storm is what need to be remember now what precipitates the thyroid storm that was the mcq given by the examiner infection dka cva stroke surgery iodine administration similarly trauma mi pulmonary embolism or any sudden withdrawal of thyroid medicine or palpation of thyroid gland excessively they are all predisposing factors for the development of the thyroid storm is what you need to understand once more aage aa hamara wolf 2015 16 neat pg exam mein wolf chaikoff effect kyon hota hai if you give excessive iodine if it is precipitating hypothyroidism wo hota hai chaikoff effect jisme thyrox thyroxine chota ho jata hai hypothyroidism ho jata hai now which is not a feature of thyrotoxicosis 
you have anxiety, weight loss, palpitation. When energy is a feature of hypothyroidism, not hyper. Then once more about hyperthyroidism. You get weight loss, not weight gain. Tachycardia, palpitations, anxiety, you will get. A young lady, tremors, diarrhea, elevated T4 and also elevated TSH and bitemporal hemianopia. So what is the problem that he is having? Obviously, there is a pituitary adenoma. Pituitary adenoma is causing excess TSH which is leading to excess T, T4 production. So, T4 bhi jada hai, TSH bhi jada hai, dono bhi jada hai. So, you need to start antithyroid and do a urgent MRI brain to identify. So, why pituitary adenoma lead to bitemporal hemianopia? You should remember that there are nasal fibers, temporal fibers. Nasal will cross in the chiasma. When pituitary compresses, then the nasal fibers get affected. Nasal receives the visual field on the temporal side. That is another confusion. So, both the nasal fibers destroyed lead to both the temporal visual fields become blind. That is called bitemporal hemianopia, which is seen when the optic chiasma is compressed, is what you need to remember. Now, what are the common neurological manifestations of the thyrotoxicosis? There will be hyperreflexia, muscle wasting, proximal myopathy, fasciculations, hypokalemic periodic paralysis, anything can happen. Hashimoto's may encephalopathy aata hai. Such a classical encephalopathy that if you happen to give steroid, highly responsive. So, that is a favorite question of the examiner. It is a steroid responsive encephalopathy is the Hashimoto's encephalopathy. So, in this you find seizures, you find myoclonus and EEG is abnormal. So, Hashimoto encephalopathy ke baare mein 5 to 6 points chai pe charcha aapko yaad rakna. It can be acute or subacute, cognitive impairment, psychiatric symptoms like con loss of consciousness, hallucinations and involuntary movements, myoclonus, opsoclonus, chorea, ataxia, stroke like episodes, myelopathy, anything can be the presentation. Adolescent females are most affected. Padne mein bahut simple lagta hai. But if an adolescent female comes with seizures, myoclonus, opsoclonus, you are already in DM neurology. So DM neurology level pe MD general medicine mein jo pade na Hashimoto encephalopathy bolke ek situation hota bolke. Wo yaad raana is very very important. Right? So why it is important? Agar aap steroid shuru kare to ek dumb patient become normal. That is the reason you should know how to make a diagnosis. So what you read translating into a clinical diagnosis and really catching a correct diagnosis in the patient pura jindagi seekhne ke liye hai. Isliye jara seekhne ki koshish mat karo. Need PG ke liye jitne kilo laddu chahe utna hi laddu banao. Otherwise you become toxically overloaded with information which is not needed. I am telling you. Right? So if any of your friends says my turum re, my top re, my itna padra re, utna padra re, chodha usko. Don't care. What you can digest, what you can assimilate, what is needed, what is focused, whether it is in the 650 topics or not, that you need to check. A lot of times, stoppers give a lot of interviews. My wo pada, ye pada, my coaching liya, koi bolta nai coaching liya, koi bolta hai ki girlfriend ke saath baid ke pada, koi bolta hai ki mujhe girlfriend si nahi hai jindagi mein, my topper ban gaya. The formula that fits somebody, that formula will not fit us. So that is the reason a lot of times these stopper interviews and all are very uh, confusing interviews. Oh, itna gante kaise pada? Without any girlfriends or boyfriends kaise pada? Very difficult to assimilate. Just because he became topper without a girlfriend, don't kill your girlfriend. That is important. Right? So, 
there are certain autoimmune encephalitis uh, is a very important uh, question acute disseminated encephalitis narendra please give a whatsapp to our helpline and they will give you a subscription you medico app may all these videos get uploaded after deleting from here so hashimodos rasmussen's encephalitis limbic encephalitis they are all called autoimmune encephalitis so hashimodos encephalitis diagnose karne ke liye three important triad of features neuropsychiatric symptoms anti microsomal or anti thyroglobulin antibodies and exclusion of any other cause you will be able to make a hashimotos um, is what need to be remembered so how will be the eeg in hashimotos encephalitis slowing triphasic waves epileptic form discharges this is the combination which you should not basically forget so once more examiner asked in 2014 15 हशिमोटो एनकेपलोपैथी का ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस क्या होता है आपका आंसर फटाफट बोलो व्हाट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस ऑफ हशिमोटो एनकेपलोपैथी सुदीप्ति द प्राइड ऑफ तेलंगाना इज करेक्टली आंसरिंग स्टीरॉइड्स एब्सोल्युटली प्राउड ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ दिस इज हाउ टिपिकली एमआरआई इन अ पेशेंट ऑफ हशिमोटो एनकेपलाइटिस इज व्हाट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सो डॉक्टर with this we will call it a day and uh, i wish you all a wonderful time have uh, that uh, high spirits let me once more tell you all that uh, you are already wonderful kids who won the competition mbbs banna utna aasan cheez nahi hai mbbs mein seat aana already aa gaya aapko and you played you married you had a blissful time in medical school now once more another battle you are into you will win this battle also just the way you won the battle of me qt and uh, i am sure you will all come up in flying colors don't worry about result if we think about result kya hoga kya hoga then uh, that anxiety unnecessarily kills the peace and pleasure of reading right so once we are stressing the mind the poor mind subject ko yaad rakhna ya aapke stress ko yaad rakhna two pressures if you give to the brain that is not correct you should not do that so just relax padho jitna pad sakte next two weeks if you are born to become that no one can stop you to become that that is as simple as that so thank you very much once more tomorrow back with all of you and uh, please don't forget to um uh yes uh please don't forget to bookmark somebody please type uh, the uh pre medico channel ka um uh, uh, link so pre medico channel ka link so please uh, bookmark i mean uh, the uh, subscribe to the pre medico channel uh, of the youtube so that i tell your cousins to also enjoy free classes for the neat ug preparation thank you very much